Okay, YouTube. This is what we're going to be painting tonight. This is a bass plug that I designed. You've seen it in the previous videos. These are a couple of different colors that I've come up with. I think we're going to stick with the straight bass tonight. I don't think we're going to get in anything too crazy as far as doing anything like this. I've already casted and primed the baits we're going to be doing tonight. There's five of them there. So let's get started. Okay, so when do we get started? Uh, for this first, first shot of color, uh, this is a pearl gray from Testers. Uh, it's almost like silver. It's not really a pearl gray. It's more like a more like a silver. Uh, I did just test my uh, my air gun out. I think it was working swimmingly. I highly recommend you maintain your air gun because um, it can be a it can be a pill to clean. Uh, I'm loading up a lot of paint in this because I'm gonna be doing a number of lures. So just testing the color. So we're gonna get started on the bottom. It's tough to see camera wise, but as I'm looking at it, I can really see that silver popping. I don't know how good my light is down here. Uh, I do have the pressure up pretty high. I'm not so concerned with uh, with detail right now. I'm more putting a uh, putting a, a coat on there. Just the camera, sorry. Uh, moving on to green. This is Create Text Transparent from Bright Green. That rattle that you hear is a small screw. I think it's actually a screw to a door hinge uh, that I put into that I put into the paint vials. Um, it just helps mix up a little bit better. So a little test spray. We have color. Okay. Now we're only going to come down about halfway. We're going to cover the back. Up in between the eyes. We're going to do a little bit of the mouth. Easy on the gill plates because they're going to come back with red. And like I said, we're just going to go easy on color. It's layers. It's not jacking it full of paint. So trigger, trigger pressure on your gun. This is a two-stage gun, so nice and easy. See how I'm layering, I'm not just jacking all the paint at once. I do like to dust a little a little dot like that down the side. I just think it adds a little bit of texture and a little bit of color to it. Um, I like the way that looks. Okay. Moving on, next color. Okay, on to the red. Uh, this is a stand I got from uh, I believe it's called not Hobby Town. Hobby King. Out of uh, I think they're based out of Florida. They might be all over the place, but I bought them online. They're super cheap. They're, I think they're under $3 a piece, like $2.66 a piece. Um, it's nice because you're not handling the baits and you can kind of get in any angle with them. It's a good, uh, it's a good idea to, to pick up a couple of these. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get into these gill plates. Um, I'm not so concerned with the detail on them so much. Um, it's just more of a, a, like a shot of color. So, don't anybody yell at me when my detail isn't all that great. I'm still learning.
Okay, so what we're going to do now is, first of all, just my camera. What we're going to do now is we're going to put the netting on uh, to do the scale patterns. Um, I just bought, went to Michael's. You can get them pretty much at any arts and crafts store. These are a little small. I wish I got bigger ones. These are a little bit small. Um, what I did was I just glued um, like toothpicks or like a uh, like a barbecue skewer on there just so they're easier to find when they're tucked underneath the bait like this. So let me show you what we're going to do here. You're pretty much just going to wrap this netting and what this is is um, a like a bathroom sponge, a poof ball or a loofah or whatever, however you want to name it. And when you open one of these things up, they end up being like six feet long. It's amazing. Um, I try to keep it back behind the eyes because I didn't want to want to get any scale pattern down along the eyes of this thing. So what I do is just kind of hook this clip in there, and that's going to hold the netting. I get a little bit of extra here. I probably could have trimmed this a little bit better, but for informational purposes, it'll be fine. And what you want to try and do is get this, you want to pull it nice and tight so you don't have any wrinkles or nothing kind of crappy looking in there. You want it to, you know, if you're going to, you're going to do it, do a good job, so. Good enough. Black. Black is one of those colors that you can really screw up with. You can wreck your whole paint job. So you want to go easy when you're using black. You don't want to. You don't want to go super heavy. You want to just kind of dust in the scale lines, okay? Pins would be good for this versus the alligator clips. Let me if I can get that to focus. Come on, baby. There we go. So you can see those nice scale decals in there. So, decals. Scale impressions. So I'm going to go back with the black. ACDC song, and I'm going to cover where those scales end. And you can do some black uh, by the gills or down on the ass end of this thing. Um, you can do that. I don't. I've done it. Um, it looks pretty cool, actually, but I'm not a giant fan. So that's basically it. That's our, uh, this is our deal. Come on now, focus. Um, as you can see, it's relatively simple. I got a couple more to bang out, so we'll go from there. Then we'll get to doing some epoxy on them, and I'll bring you back for that. All right, getting ready to finish now. This is 30 minute epoxy. And if you look at this little cup that I'm, this little gadget that I have here, what that is, is 
is leftover uh, epoxy. Shitty paintbrush, but at Michael's, uh, it's 24 of them for. Geez, I think it was 2.99. And this is just a matter of getting into your details and long strokes are better because it's going to relieve some of the bubbles that you're going to have from stirring. Uh, you can't really help, but you know, not. You know, you short stuff up here when you when you're doing this detail in here. Okay, so here's what we got. Those are just like little joint clips. I'll give you a better description in a second. Okay. Obviously it's a lure turner. Sorry for the cameras. That motor is from a disco ball from Lowe's. It was like 18 bucks. What I did was I hot glued that piece of PVC, that joint right there is the screw that holds on a roller blade and the roller blade bearing is inside that PVC pipe. Those little clips are like it's under a buck a piece Home Depot and what I did was I pocket screwed just three boards to give it some clearance for some longer baits. So it's a pretty neat rig. I'm kind of proud of that one. It does a nice job. You can see that finish on there. It does turn a little bit quick though. It does spin a little fast for me. But it's okay. So that's the lure. That's the paint. That's what I got.